How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video right here on Spurred on TV. I am Craig Mitch and this is Spurs fans top five most hated players. In at number five is Emmanuel Adebayor. Now there's many reasons we could choose this guy. Uh, the first being that he played for Arsenal. This guy was so annoying when he played for Arsenal. He scored some spectacular goals against us. He was just an all-round problem. And he actually got a lot of goals for them, which really annoyed me. I think he got like 30 in one season in all competitions, which is absolutely ridiculous. On top of that, he knocked us out of the Champions League quarterfinals when he played for Real Madrid. Who even knows why he was playing for Real Madrid? He doesn't even possess that ability. But for some reason, he was over at the Bernabeu and knocked us out of the Champions League. Then when he eventually came to us, he didn't take football seriously. He doesn't take anything seriously, to be honest, but he really didn't take football seriously. And the only time he ever performed under us was with Tim Sherwood. They had a bit of a bromance. They were saluting each other. And then he just gave up on football, went to Islam and just didn't care about anything anymore. Emmanuel Adebayor, I hate you. In at number four is Willian. First of all, what is his first name? You can't trust a man with one name. Willian. And it sounds just like Willie, so I'm definitely not going to trust him. This guy was supposed to come to Spurs. And what happened? He snaked us. He came over, he was ready to have a medical, terms and conditions were laid out on the table. He came over, he met our groundsman, he basically shook everyone's hand at the club. He went in the flipping canteen, made food, chef things up. You didn't know that, but I knew that. You know why? Because I did my research, but I'm not the guy that does conspiracy theories, if you're thinking about that. Or should I say conspiracy theories? Anyway, that's a whole other thing. William, I hate you. He was supposed to come from Shaq to Donatesque. We know he's a great player. We know he's a magician. He's a very, very good Brazilian baller and he completely snaked us. And I don't like him. And if I see you, I'm gonna take a pair of clippers and shave your afro off. In at number three is Charlie Adam. Now this guy is just despicable. He is as despicable as they come. Jamie Carragher even said in his autobiography that when Charlie Adam showed up to training, he was three stone overweight. He is the Ricky Hatton of football. Literally, he takes football out of context. He likes to box. Maybe he should go into boxing. He likes to just go overweight, eat burgers. He thinks he's Braveheart, the Scotsman, and he takes football way too seriously. It's not a battlefield, okay? There are rules and regulations, Charlie Adams. You can't go around injuring all of our players. He gave Gareth Bell a few hard knocks in the past. He always gets booed when he comes to the lane. You are not welcome. I hate you, Charlie Adam. Number two, and I really hate this. He could have been number one, but there's just someone we hate more than him. And it was a real toss up. But number two is Jack Wilshere. I mean, Wilshere. This guy is a crock, okay? The little turd always has things to say about us. Why? He's on top of his bus celebrating um, an FA Club glory, which he really had no role in. And then he feels the need to bring up our name and compare us to a turd when his whole career has been turd. You don't play for Arsenal, you're a piece of shit, Jack Wilshire. You're a shit. you're a big shit. See you next Tuesday. I hate you, Jack Wilshire. If I ever see you, I'm probably gonna s you. I'm probably gonna do shit. I'm probably gonna do time. You're probably about this tall, you probably level up with my shit. You look like a shit. Number one, the most hated person by any Spurs fan, probably by any football fan, probably by anyone with a brain is so Campbell. Now he shouldn't be called Soul Campbell because he sold his soul to the scum. Yes, he did. I hate this man so much. So let me paint a picture for you. It's 1999. I'm a young lad. I'm about 10 years old. I'm getting ready to see us play Leicester in the Worthington Cup final. And guess what? We win it. Him and Ian Walker lift the trophy. I get the poster from the sun. I put it on my bedroom wall. I'm like, this man is a hero. He tells me he will never ever leave Spurs. And what does he do? What does he do? He goes to our fierce rivals for nothing. 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 That's what he does. He is the ultimate snake. On top of that, he went there and won all kinds of things and kind of I wouldn't say justified going there, but he justified it in his mind. And now he has some sort of excuse. Well, you know what, So Campbell? You can you can get and you can from without finding that you had just So Campbell. I hate you. Then on top of that, he said the reason he was never captain of England is because he's black. Really? You don't think it's because you're a snake? You're a traitor? You're not loyal? You have no qualities to be a captain? You're not a leader? You're a flipping pansy? You're an idiot? Those are the reasons why you could never be captain of England. You do not represent anything that kind of shows leadership. So what you lead in Arsenal? Who the hell are Arsenal? They traded their own area. They left Woolwich and came to North London. So you belong with those snakes. And do you know what? 
Anyway, guys, this has been Spurs fans' top five most hated players. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with us. Let us know any players we may have left out that you hate. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. What's going on, everybody? I am Adam Richmond from ITV's Barbecue Champ Man Finds Food Man versus Food Food Fight. You know, food programs in general. Um, and diehard Tottenham Hotspur FC fan. And this is a list of my top five favorite moments in Tottenham Hotspur history.